Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Topps Finest Baseball 8-Box Pick Your Team number 7. Big thanks to all of these folks who got their teams straight up. Appreciate it. And there's also a team random. Big thanks to all of those, the 10 people here, who got into this team random. 1 through 10 for these teams right here. There they are. And so we'll randomize that list whatever, however many times the dice tells us to. And then the person on top will get that, so on and so forth. So good luck. Let's roll the dice. Randomize that list. Two and a two. Four times. Four the hard way. One, two, three, and four. After four times, we got Benny on the pole and Paul in the 10 spot. All right, so Benny with the Angels. Jeremy Merle with the White Sox. Congrats. Congrats to all. Ed Aarons, you got the Astros. Arturo with your last spot mojo, you get the Brew Crew. John Samson, you got Oppo Joe Mojo, you have the Giants. Jared with the Rockies. Chris Day with the Snakes. Trey Bush with the O's. Jared with the Bo Sox. And last but not least, Paul Hutchins with the Pirates. And if there's any num serial numbered Marlins cards, we'll, uh, we'll randomize it to one person in the break. All right, let's print. Let's rip. Good luck. There's Benny. That's right. You got the angel. Let's go trout fishing. Print. Okay, print. And there is the case right here. We've got another Pick Your Team case available in the store right now. So check it out. About 20 or so teams left. So if you want to fill that up straight up, that would be great. Otherwise, some of those teams may end up in a team random. So if you see your team, go get it before it ends up in a team random. Two boxes, two, four, six, and eight. Here is the final printout. There you go. Pick your team seven. Are there any hits for the snakes? Yeah, there's Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. And I think that's it. Here is the autograph grid in the chat, folks, if you want to see what your team could yield you. And here we go. Good luck. Short day in baseball today, boys and girls. We've got some finals for you. Mets beat the Giants 7-3. Pittsburgh beat the Braves 6-1. Rays beat the Tigers 6-1. Red Sox beat the Royals 7-5. Cardinals beat the Reds 3 to 1. Milwaukee finally got one on the Marlins. Kind of a weird past couple of games for Milwaukee. But beat the Marlins 5 to 1. Rockies beat the Cubbies 3 to 1. And in in uh, in 14 innings the Astros edged out the Mariners 8 to 7. There's some games in progress that we'll get to in the next box. Um Gilo was here earlier and he asked what do the Dodgers need to do to win it all? Health. Got to stay healthy. I think that's a big thing. And they could really use some bullpen help too, I think. So I don't think they're in a rush to get anything now. They're not in that position yet. But by the trading deadline, I think they're, they're definitely going to try to explore something or hope that someone emerges either in the minor leagues or, or just, you know, maybe the existing people in the bullpen kind of get more consistent. But 
their e their bullpen ERA has been has been pretty difficult. Move out. I think they're doing fine in LA, Logan. But otherwise, offense seems to be consistent. They're they're the most important thing is that their their at bats look great. They've got a couple new hitting coaches this year that have helped big time. Starting pitching looks strong. Um, so in terms of all of that, that's pretty good. Just just to need that need a little more consistency out of the bullpen, and then obviously health and some luck. How close are we to Camp Pendleton? About two hours. Maybe a little bit less. Hour and a half, maybe. I think San Diego, here to San Diego is two hours. And Pendleton, I think, is maybe 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes north. But relatively close. There's Ryan Baruki for Jeremy Tillman and the Blue Jays. Gianni's looking at games to play tomorrow, some wagers to make tomorrow. Raptor started at plus 205 and is already down to 170. Dang. In regards to the Dodgers, specifically, Roger, uh, Robert, Dave, Coach Dave Roberts have made mistakes that I believe cost us. I agree with that, especially in the one against the Astros. I think that was the one to win. I think last year, I wasn't as beat up about it last year because I think the Dodgers just got beat by a team that was a lot better, just hot last year in the Red Sox. And there's Brandon Nemo. Looks happy there. 40 out of 99 for the Metropolitans. Darren McKenzie, DMAC with that one. But against the Astros, I feel like... With the Astros, I feel like they made... You know... There were there were some mistakes there. <laughs> Let's just say. Last year, I don't think it was it was I don't think it was really Roberts. It was mo it was the team. But I don't know. What are the odds of the Dodgers getting to the World Series three times in a row? Slim. Slim. But if they get there, they better win it. <laughs> well, the Astros series definitely was fun to watch here. Absolutely, Grego. Um, I'll give I'll give them a free plug. I use uh, betonline.ag, an offshore book. Play at your own risk. <laughs> Join at your own risk. I can't wait for, for it to be here in the United States. That'd be a lot easier. But yeah, the the Dodgers Astros World Series was, you know, if I take a step back away from it, personally, it was great. I had I had friends who were only even casual baseball fans who were texting me every every night there was a game and be like, oh my god, did you see that? And all that sort of stuff. No worries, Grego. If you're gonna if you're gonna play, I would highly recommend looking into looking into Bitcoin. But. Otherwise, you can play a little bit and still goof around and have fun. Benny's saying, as a Dodgers fan, what NL team am I most afraid of this season? I mean, none? <laughs> I mean, the Phillies don't scare me. Phillies are beatable. Braves are beatable. Mets are not going to be in the playoffs. Oh, they might be beatable. I guess if the Nationals made it to the playoffs, I guess I'd be a little worried about them. And there's Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Nice. Uh, that's Jeremy Merle who got the White Sox in a team random. Um, I guess a Cubs team that's firing on all cylinders could be 
Could be a little scary. Brewers, I'm not worried about. Cardinals, Pirates, Reds, not worried about. I guess maybe maybe Rockies, just because of divisional familiarity, that you know they could have a little bit of a of an edge in a playoff series. And that's 25 out of 50 blue chips. Scott Kingery for the Phillies. And there's Kyle Tucker for the Astros. So yeah, I'm not super, uh, not super concerned though about a lot of the other teams. I think the Dodgers on their day can beat any of these teams. But really, I'm more worried about the Dodgers beating themselves, you know. All right, next one. Gilo thinks you, you thought the Brewers should have went last year. Yeah, I, I think the Dodgers got kind of lucky <laughs> in that series. Because I didn't think, well, first of all, I think at this point of the season last year, the Dodgers were like 10 games out of first. Something like that. And then they really turned it on. And then backed into the playoffs with that wild card game. And then went, th went through to the World Series. I thought the Brewers were going to beat them for sure. And then they looked kind of sloppy in the World Series. Like I don't, I don't think they were the best representation of the NL last year. And I'd rather them not go to the World Series last year because, again, my, like I said earlier, what are the chances of, the, of a team going to the World Series three times in a row? It hasn't happened since I think Benny was saying the Yankees. So the odds for that in this day and age pretty tough. Right, the Brew Crew definitely need that starting pitching help. I, I thought they'd be in on Keuchel. I thought they'd give him a shot. I don't know. Maybe they'll trade for... If the Indians keep... I mean, Indians are nine and a half games behind Minnesota. So maybe the Indians would be interested in moving a Corey Kluber once he's... Recovers from that broken arm. Maybe Trevor Bauer is on the table. You know, maybe the Brewers could be in play for for someone like that. There's Jacob Degrom to 150. And we got for the Padres, Fran Mill Reyes. He's got like 20 some odd home runs already. Uh, Paul Cool Whit with the Padres. Got the Padres straight up. Mariano Rivera, die cut. Finest careers die cut. Haven't seen his autograph yet. There's Reese Hoskins to 25, 18 out of 25 for the Phillies. And your autograph is Ronald Acuna Jr. Seven out of 50, gold auto for Logan Callister with the ATL. There you go, Logan. All right, next one. I don't remember that game either, Gilo. Maybe a game that maybe a hater gave up a home run or something like that. I think there was maybe some some managerial missteps for the Brewers. Um 
last year or two in that NLCS. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Logan bought the brave straight up too. He got him before it ended up in a team random. All right, next box. After this, we'll be halfway through this break. Pick your team eight in the store right now. I think you can still buy teams straight up. Yep, 20 teams available straight up in the next pick your team. Grab your teams early and often before they end up in a team random. Or if you want a team random, just wait. And we've got eight left. We're in single digits on that 2019 Leather and Lumber 5 box, half case, uh, random team break. We should, not, we, should, we should kill that break tonight too. Let's get that out of the way. For you football fans, you can pre-order Luminance Football. That drops tomorrow. That, all that is on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, good luck, folks. Next mini box. Oh, sorry, let's get that into focus there. There we go. There's Trevor Story. Purple, chrome to 250. And wow, Finest Origins, Juan Soto. Joseph Andreessen, who got the Nats straight up. Nice autograph. He's got a nice auto, too. There's D. Gordon, working his way back to health out of 99. And rookie auto, Kristen Stewart. No, not the actress, the baseball player. That goes to Jeremy Mennel. Got the Tigers straight up. All right, halfway through the break, folks. And I see a few orders coming in. I don't know what they're for, but we'll check those orders after these, this break and see, see what people want to do. Benny, you've never gotten a hit? Well, there is, there is new guy mojo. So that could, that could come into play. <laughs> Joe stealing my bank account. I'm not, I'm not putting a gun to your head. Oh, we got half the break to go, Benny. So hopefully there'll be maybe a couple things for you. Well, here's the good news, though, Benny. You got the Angels and a team random. So you got them for a fraction of the price. So you've already won right there. Chris Shaw, 
leads things off. And there's Pete Alonzo, Darren McKenzie, DMAC with the Metropolitan straight up. He's been having a great season. There's Blake Snell to 50 for the Rays, Scott V. And wow, Ozzy Albius, eight out of 25 blue chips autograph. Orange parallel. Congratulations indeed. So you got the Acuna Jr. And his buddy, Ozzy Albius, Logan. Uh, Mr. L.A., no. Veteran commons do not ship in this break. Everything else does. Inserts, RCs, refractors, parallels. Yeah, Logan's like, dang, glad, glad I bought in. You should buy another team right now, Logan. Do a heat check. Maybe you're on. Maybe you're just on fire right now. Maybe your gut instincts on picking a team have been working. I would do a heat check. Just buy, buy another team somewhere in some break that we can do tonight and see what happens. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yesterday and today. Logan, you got you got the helmet yesterday. You got the two big Braves autos today. Heat check. All right, three more boxes to go. This one and then the two in the background. Good luck, everybody. And we got ton, Tyler O'Neill. Karen with the Cardinals, straight up. Nice one, Karen. And we've got a gold die cut, 22 out of 50. Finest careers, Mariano Rivera. That goes to Chad Wright and the Yankees. And another die cut, Mariano Rivera, finest careers, non numbered. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. at a 99. And there's Chris Shaw, rookie autograph for the Giants. John Samuelson, Oppo Joe Mojo. Got the Giants randomized to him in the team random.
All right, two to go. Good luck, everybody. Four autographs to go. <coughs> to go. My voice to go. Don Rab, yeah, I'd love to get that leather and lumber random team going. It has been moving. It was at like, I don't know, 17 last night, down to down to single digits tonight. So it has been moving. Just needs that final push. There's Rowdy Rowdy Tellez, 250. And we got for the Royals, John Samuelson with the Royals straight up, Ryan O'Hearn autograph. I think the finest looks pretty sharp this year. I like the design. Look at this. What a break for Logan. Finest Origins, Chipper Jones. A chip off the old block. You got some of the old right here. Some of the new in that stack over there. Nice break for the Braves. There's Ryan O'Hearn for the Royals to 150. Are you, what? Stop now. Are you, are you feel bad? You should never feel bad. Because there'll be plenty of nights where you're going to go hitless. Plenty of nights. You know this. So enjoy the nights when. Enjoy the nights when you get all the hits. So never feel bad. <laughs> it's your turn, you know what I mean? If you, if you break here long enough, everyone, you'll see everyone kind of go through their up and down cycles. All right, last box, last two autographs. Good luck, everybody. I only see three orders coming in, so we'll check those right after this, and we'll see what else we can get into tonight. Got plenty of time to break tonight, folks. We're only... We're only halfway through the evening. We're at about halftime in the show.
There's Francisco Lindor to 250. And we've got Francisco Arcia. There you go, Benny. Benny and the Angels on the board with the Francisco Arcia rookie autograph. Not quite the trout he was looking for, but a hit nonetheless. There's Zach Ranke for the Diamondbacks to 150. That'll go to Chris Day. And the final autograph looks like a green wave parallel. Yeah, it's Mitch Hanniger. 92 out of 99. Nice green wave autograph for Jeremy Merle and the Mariners. Got the Mariners straight up. And is now not hitless. There you go. Thanks for getting in. Thanks, everybody. Them's the breaks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was picker team number seven. We got another picker team in the store right now. Check it out, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.